Chicago in my sister Chandler's apartment. We're here celebrating her graduation from Columbia College. <laughs> Clap it up. She's graduating with a degree in journalism. So we're here in her apartment. Shout out to all my subscribers and viewers in Chicago. And I thought it would be nice to do since I rarely <laughs> Since I rarely get to see my sisters a lot, I thought it would be nice to do a sister tag while I have them here with me. So, do we introduce ourselves first? Okay. Okay. okay I, yeah, you know me. <laughs> I'm Miss Huxtable Allison. I'm the oldest. I'm Chandler. Hi, guys. How are you? Hi, I'm Ava. I'm the youngest. So that's all three of us. <laughs> okay, so we have the questions on my mom's cell phone here. So we're going to go through it. So number one, how old are you? I'm 21. She's 21. I'm turning 19 in like Someday. two days. Yay. So 19. <laughs> and I'm 25. I'll be 26 in July. Okay, so describe each other in one word. Um, well, I said that <laughs> I said that Chandler is sophisticated and Allison is like, like a like eclectic like I think she's kind of like Afro like Afro American like <laughs> I don't like know. really like African like I don't We're know all African. well I mean like she's but, like, she's but, like really, what like, is it like like she's really eccentric like really different <laughs> I think she's different so creative okay, so maybe I don't know creative, yeah that's a good one okay like creative eccentric yeah okay what do you think so for Ava I would say. I'm caught. I'm torn between researcher and passionate. <laughs> <laughs> Gross. Researcher. No, no, no. Because <laughs> Ava really, she follows through on things. If she wants to learn about any aspect of like diet, um, so one second she'll want to be an environmentalist. One second she'll want to be a gynecologist. Like she will find a topic that she's passionate about or interested in, and she will research it thoroughly. She'll be like, "Oh, well, this I learned. Like, this, this." She'll be on like, "What's that? Med Med dot com." Yeah, she, well, no, yeah. she she'll be on WebMD. You can give her a list of your symptoms, potential symptoms, and she'll give you like true. seven diagnoses. Diagnoses. <laughs> You're really good at that. Yeah, so That's she's a really true. avid like researcher and passionate about things. And it, like they're all really multidimensional, so in addition to a lot of things. But um, for Chandler, I would say, what would I say? <laughs> I would say, um, how do I say that? I want to say a visionary, and I know that's kind of maybe a weird word too, but my sister has really good... I don't, when it comes to like shopping or putting things together, she knows how to have this overall view in the future of how it's going to all come together. Like she'll pick out a piece of clothing and I'll be like, mm, no, or that's interesting. She'll be like, no, wait till it's done. <laughs> and she'll put it together in a way like I think that's the true artist of a stylist or somebody that doesn't just go with the trends or go what everybody else is doing. They have a vision in their mind of how to put things together and make it work. And I, I am not really that good at certain things like that that she is. That's probably really weird. I don't know. <laughs> um, I don't know. I've been like listening to you guys. I haven't been thinking about. Oh. Okay, let me think. Um, <laughs> if I had one word to describe Ava, it'd be loyal. Mm -hmm. I think if oh, like I feel cool. like she's yeah. just like if she's like down for the cause and like she's there, like she's like she can be like a ride or die, but just like. And also, she can be like. <laughs> <laughs> but like, yeah. if you like, if she like really like loves you and cares about you, and she's she like, like, yeah, like she'll like, she like loves hard, like right. Like. So but if you like, cross her, if you cross her, it's just like, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like deuces. Um, so I would say loyal. Yeah, yes. yeah. I feel like I can always like look to you for like conversation. I know that you always have my back, so like that's I think that's a good one. For good. Allison, I just what do I think? <laughs> I'm like torn between like I don't even know I feel like like nurturer slash like 
intelligentsia or something. <laughs> like, cause I just feel like I just feel like uh, all yeah. I <laughs> listen, what is listen, that? listen to the listen to the explanation. Okay, <laughs> so I think that like you all you have like this like very like mothering quality yeah, to you. Yeah. Like you're like always trying to like take care of people, make sure everything's okay. Like even with Cam, like you like try to like make sure like that's her boyfriend. Yeah, sorry, Cam is <laughs> her boyfriend. And like just make sure that everybody's like all right and like doing things, kind of like looking out right away. And then like you're just She's super, super smart, like super, yeah. super smart, like smart beyond words, like almost genius status, like level. And like, I just really, I really <laughs> like she, yeah, like for real, okay. <laughs> like, for real guys. So it's just like, she's, yeah. So she's like somebody I've always looked up to as far as like smart wise. It's just like, yeah, like you got that going for you. Thank so yeah. You. I'm Afrocentric and smart. Yes. That's okay. And nurturing. And nurturing. And nurturing. Okay. Um, Question number three, do people ever get you mixed up? I think, I think people us. get us mixed up. Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> Are we not with you? I think it up. Yeah, that's good. No, Sorry. yeah. They do sometimes. Next oh. question. <laughs> but actually, when we were in the, when we were last time we were in these, like, people do sometimes call us, like, triplets. And, like, yeah, I mean, yeah, they make people comments. know we're related. Like, sometimes, sometimes. Well, because like I feel like I don't know. Like sometimes people say that we look alike. Yeah. Okay. Sometimes. All right. Um, number four. What is something that annoys you about one another? <laughs> oh God. <laughs> Maybe we shouldn't do that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Question five. No. What What is it like being sisters with a YouTube guru? Maybe we shouldn't do that question either because I don't consider myself. Well, a guru. I, even if you're not well, a guru, even though yeah. like I actually really like it. Yeah. It's honestly, a way for me to like keep in contact with my sister. Like I can yeah. see like what she's doing. Like we all live in different cities, yeah, so it's hard true. to like see each other. So it's a way that you can kind of keep in touch, yeah. kind of visually, and it's kind of cool. Like it's good to like have a sister who's like really into like hair because just like I can oh, call her and be cool. like, hey, like what's up. I need this. So if, I'm yeah. if, I'm, if I'm in the beauty supply store and I'm lost and flustered, I can call her and be like, you know, this little product is saying this, but it's the truth. Like, I can do like that. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I agree with that. I think this is really exciting because I have always loved YouTube. So too, I'm very though. excited that she's like doing yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. That's true, Thanks, guys. Yes. This is part of my inspiration. My sister and I, when she came to DC to visit me the last time, I took my boyfriend's Costco card and we went to Costco and got this camera. And that's that's how it went. Yeah, that's how <laughs> that's how it all started. That's really how it went. Okay. Um, do you ever argue? Number six. Of course. Yeah. yeah. What sisters don't argue. Yeah. But I feel like we may argue more than <laughs> others because we're all kind of diva. Like we are just kind of very. But I think that's like with sisters diva. in general. Yeah. When you have three girls, that's it. No, gonna, no other. Yeah, we don't have like, any brothers yeah. or any other siblings, so you're. But you don't think it's more than other people because no. like, we're all really like, confident and stuff, like strong personalities. Yeah, that's true. But I feel like not that it's necessarily reality TV, but when you watch Braxton Family Values or any other like sister reality shows, they yeah, don't yeah, lie. yeah, that's true. But then they're all kind of pretty too. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> Number. Seven, what's the best thing about one another? The best thing? The best I think thing it's just because, like, my favorite thing about you guys is just, like, there are certain things, like, only they get. Yeah, like, I, I agree Like, with only they understand. That's just, like, I feel like sometimes we have, like, this, like, invisible lingo or something where, like, yeah. we'll laugh. Like, we'll all laugh at the same thing. Like, some people might not think it's funny at all, but, like, they'll laugh. Like, they'll get it, like... It's like those type things. I don't know. I don't. Know how, I don't really know how to explain it, or if you guys are gonna understand that. But it's just like there's just like some things that like only your sisters get. Yeah. Like, yeah. That's what I think is cool. What do you think? Well, I agree because I feel like I can have a trillion friends or whatever, but like they'll they're like my closest friends. They'll get everything that, that I'm too. thinking of. Everything like how she said. Like I can look at someone and I'm sure they'll know what I'm thinking before I even say anything yeah. or whatever. So I think. Just the connection that we have in general. Yeah, they're yeah. My, they're really my best friend. Yeah. yeah, and we we have a really unique eclectic upbringing that's really I like, the like today. For example, <laughs> we were coming back from my graduation dinner, and we were munching on 
seaweed dried seaweed in the back of the taxi <laughs> yes, cab so yes. when it comes to um we will recommend that as a snack for anybody yes. <laughs> if you guys, so guys want to try it seaweed, out seaweed very nutritional probably benefits your hair in some way i have to research it to definitely yeah. explain but yeah we have just a very eclectic upbringing when it comes to all types of things so they really not just people under that. understand yeah. things that other people not a lot of people get. are eating seaweed in the back of a taxi yeah it's just <laughs> Okay, so, oh, okay, no. Okay, number eight, is, it says ditch the dirt. I don't know where I got I don't these think we questions have dirt on each from. Other. Yeah, like that. that's, who does that? Okay, yeah, that's kind of, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the purpose. Number nine, favorite inside joke. We don't we have, really one. have one. We don't really have that. We're trying to think of, we're, we're going to work, work yeah. on it. Okay, number 10, favorite memory together. Um, we got trapped in Paris um, over the summer. We were just I trapped think the in airport the airport. Is, is it Charles de Gaulle? Charles de Gaulle Airport. airport. But anyways, from France. Paris. Shout out to Shout Paris. Out to Paris. <laughs> Bonjour. Um, <laughs> we definitely got trapped in yeah. We, we, we missed our airport. flight out of Paris to... Were we flying to Chicago? Yes. We missed our flight out of Paris to Chicago. Yeah. yeah. And we did not want... We did not have anybody, nor did we want to leave the airport and get trapped again. So we spent the night in the airport in Paris. It was the worst. And it was like homeless people taking <laughs> trash out of like the we trash We were sleeping can. there with homeless, with the homeless people. Not I didn't realize, not, I didn't realize that airports could be shelters for homeless. Not I everybody was homeless. No, not everyone. But there were happened there to were be, a few. there, there were happened to be few. homeless people, some homeless people at the airport that were taking out trash. It was, like interesting, it was an interesting experience to think yeah. but it did bring us together because it was slightly like a safety hazard I for stayed us. up the whole night. We, I did too. Watching um, the um, dance, dance. dance. You know, so you think you, you can dance. dance. Yeah. So you think you can dance. Oh, I was asleep. I was so paranoid we were going to miss our flight. Yeah, I think. <laughs> so I stayed up the whole time. Yeah. And what else? That was, it was really interesting. And also, my my youngest sister Ava is the only one that knows a little bit of French. I don't know my other Chandler and I know either. Spanish, so people would come up to us and ask us questions or things. Like one gentleman was just asking us to watch his bags when he so he could use the restroom, and he said it in French initially, and we were like, don't understand. It's a really humbling experience to travel and you don't understand yeah. the language at all. It really made me have a new appreciation for people that come to the U.S. or any country and they're not familiar or don't know the language yet because it is it is really exhausting and frustrating. But I think especially like the countries where we didn't know language at all, like Italy and yeah, France. Italy. Like, I feel like those are the those are the places where we bonded the most because it's just like literally we had to like we were figure really it out. struggling. Like, Struggling hardcore. Home. My personal yeah. favorite was in Italy when a woman drove us across the street and charged us like 15 euros. Yes. She definitely, she gypped us, but it's okay. Us. But it's, yeah. It ended up being a great trip. We recommend going everywhere. Travel anywhere, the world. Yeah. Especially Barcelona. Yeah. Yeah, that was so fun. Sangria. You can be 18 and drink there. <laughs> Although I don't, I don't condone that. I'm just saying, you know. It's legal. Drink responsibly. <laughs> Drink responsibly. Okay. Um, oh, number eleven is the question: Are we full sisters, half, or stepsisters? We are, we are full, full sisters, sisters, one hundred percent. We have the same mom, yeah, same, same dad. dad. Um, this is a really good point, also, because I probably am suffering from heat damage at this point. But in terms of my curl pattern, and my sister Ava has her hair straight, my hair is like this too. If I don't put heat on it at all, but um, we're all. Full sisters, same mom, same dad. Look at the color variations, the hair variations. So just yeah. goes to show you've been within one family. Number twelve. Guess each other's favorite singer. Is yours? Wait, singer? Yeah, favorite okay. singer. Is yours I, like Erica Badu or something? <laughs> Probably. <laughs> like wait, 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 wait. Why is Erica Badu? Because you made me go to an Erica Badu concert. Yeah, I really like her. <laughs> With Lanisha and we fell asleep. <laughs> <laughs> Erica Badu. I thought it was it? just because I was natural that you were saying. No. No, oh, okay. no because it, you like, you like Erica Badu. I mean, I do like Erica Badu, but she's not my favorite. Tamar right now. I, was I love that Tamar. First, I, love, I, I love Tony Braxton. I had her tape when I was little with the jeans. and the, I just love Tony Braxton. I like a lot of singers. That's fine. That's a good guess. I don't really know yours, so I'm not going to try to guess. For Chandler, I would... Yeah, I don't... Chandler is really... She's in... I'm she really, knows yeah. a lot about music, culture, and so I don't what really would you know. call indie groups and stuff. So I don't. My favorite right now is probably James Blake. 
Yeah, I don't know who James Blake, I don't know who that is either. <laughs> For you, Ava, I want to say, um... Cheetah Girl. Okay, I... <laughs> I will say yes to that because I do love the Cheetah Girls, but I'm obsessed with like old people like Craig David, so that's weird. It's not old. But like that's like not my, like my generation. Like 90s music, yeah. Like Which isn't old. I still is listen to Mario. Raven. I think she loves Raven. Raven. What's the TLC, girl? like old uh, she 90s has a show. Music. Or she used Adrian Bailon. Adrian Bailon. Yeah. Cheetah Bailon. Girls. Cheetah, Cheetah Girls. Cheetah I love Cheetah Girls. I have a CD in my car right now. I was actually listening to it before our game. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Number 13, who takes longer to get ready? Chandler. I agree. Chandler yeah, takes Chandler Chandler's takes late all the time. <laughs> okay, she yes. may be late to her own wedding and funeral. You can't be late to I will yeah, definitely be late to my wedding, of course. It'll start at 6 and she'll have it at 8. My, my husband will know the deal. She'll know the deal. <laughs> She'll die at noon and be ready by five. So <laughs> I don't know. Jesus will be waiting. <laughs> oh goodness. Okay. No, I, Jesus won't be waiting, guys. That's kind of mean. <laughs> Number fourteen. <laughs> Heels or flats? Flats. Really? Uh, sneakers. I like. I'm really into sneakers now. Right now. Currently. Right now. Yeah. Like right now. I'm really oh, into okay. sneakers. Um. Hmm. Probably heels, heels for you guys. Yeah, yeah I'd say heels or loafers, though. I like loafers. Oh, yeah, loafers. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, number 15, pants or dresses? Pants. Pants. Dresses. I like both. Like this is, I don't like this, like, you just, gender you pick it. stereotype. You have to pick it. A dress, pants? No, I, a dress. <laughs> a dress, dress good one. That was That's a good one. one. Dresses, I like dress pants, but too. I like pants, too. But if you had the choice between, like, if you're, like, going in your house... Oh, a dress. Like, I'd choose okay. a dress. But I do like pants. Okay. Number 16, favorite animal. Mm -hmm. Oh, a panther. That was so easy. Panther or scorpion? Because scorpions are small and vicious, like myself. Oh, <laughs> hmm. And panthers are just strong, majestic animals. What would yours be? I feel like a panda. A panda? <laughs> she writes you a panda. I don't think so. <laughs> do I a panda? Or Maybe like, like a, a snow leopard. Oh, I don't, that's I don't, pretty. I don't really like snow leopards. A frog? A frog? Oh, no, like a salamander or a spider? Guys, I really don't have a favorite animal. If I did, if I said one, it wouldn't be genuine, so I'm not going to say it. A I don't dog? Really have a cat? A hairless cat? I do like hairless cats, but Ew. it's not my favorite animal. I do want a hairless cat, and Ew, I want to, and I want to, um, <laughs> there's actually, if you guys want to know, there are three pets that I want in my life. I want yeah, a hairless cat. A miniature pig. I want a miniature pig. <laughs> a miniature pig? Yeah. They're, they're so cute. They're, they're so cute, actually. and they're very, How very, big are they? they're very smart. It's like, <laughs> the size of a, it's like, a, very, it's like, it's like a, a hamster size. Oh, it's that small. Really? Like a chihuahua. It's kind of, yeah, I would it's say like more like a chihuahua. chihuahua. Very cute. So I do want, these are the three animals I want. So I want a hairless cat, a miniature pig. And probably like a great day and some larger dog, but that's it. Okay, mine would be a monkey. I love monkeys. <laughs> I have always wanted to have a little Still monkey. Oh. Um, when I did research about it, though, they're they're really not. They don't make good pets, and you have to keep a diaper on it, and no. it's not a good idea. But that's I so just weird. would really love a Your camera's um, dying. A monkey, and my camera's dying. So. <laughs> One second, hold on.